So I'm following the video for the pop-up Christmas tree card. Different version this time. It needs six of these cutouts, Christmas trees, and then I'm going to glue them together. So basically I just cut the squares. It took about three of the uh, sheets of um, construction paper, and I'm cutting them now. Here they are, my lovely Christmas trees. Very cute. Just like that, I think. Uh, but we're going to be sticking them together, back side to side like this, and making one complete uh, Christmas tree. So, so here it is with three of the pieces glued together. It's coming together nicely. I have three more left to go. And I'm going to say right now, oh boy, what a difference. I used this glue stick and it was quite messy. And I used this glue stick, of course it's the brand name. Avery, and it is amazing. It's not messy. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you stand in verdant beauty. Oh, yes, you do. I love you so. You are so strong and good looking. Whatever. Okay, here's where I have a few um, things to address. Usually, for well, the way the original. Um, video I looked at for this tree would have you stick the tree inside the card and you're pretty close to being done. But I do need to add a light at the top of the tree. So I'm going to think about whether I can do that and still just have one layer of card or if I need to have two layers of card and the tree. But um, that's kind of minor. Let me think about it a bit. Okay, so now we'll, um, this is the copper tape. I'm going to try using this instead of the conductive thread, which I used last time. Uh, it's acknowledged that the conductive thread has a fairly high resistance, and so I am going to check and see what the resistance of the um, copper tape is. So I'm not going to do, I mean, I'm just checking to see what my range that I'm working with is. And it looks like for a distance of a couple of inches, I'm looking at 0.05. So I decided to make a little resistance test board. I have the um, copper tape here. I have a single, well, it's a two-ply strand of um, conductive thread here, and I have a longer two-ply strand of conductive thread there, and here is some paper, and I'm going to use it for this um, bare paint uh, conductive paint pen. So and I'm basically going to draw out a line. First time I've opened it, so hopefully I don't have to cut the tip off. So there was a little plug holding it up, so I had to take that out. So let's take this here. Now we'll go through. Okay, so now the line is um, a varying width, so I'm sure it'll depend on where it is on the line that I'm measuring the resistance for. So, um, great. Now we have three different conductive materials, two different lengths of each of them. Not comparable, of course, but something. Okay, so we go. I've left a little room because we're going to have to add in a resistor. So, pretty good. I'm thinking that if I just find a way to slide something in between the two here, that that might actually be a good way to disable the circuit. Um, or, you know, maybe I'll put a hole and have it go through so that when it's um, opened up, it's pressing against something. Okay, now I'm pretty proud of this one. Uh, it's my second attempt at making a pop-up Christmas card, a different format than the first. And I figured out a way to make it go on when it's open. See, it's not on now. But when we open the card, 
I don't move things around too much, it will go on. Yay! And you might uh, wonder what it is that does this. Now, I haven't secured my tree to the back of my card yet, but it's a very simple mechanism when it's folded over. I've uh, made these so that they can slide about. I've uh, finished the edges, just stuck them together. And uh, basically, by the act of opening it, I'm enabling the contact. And so cute. I think a kinetic switch is, you know, it sounds like one that... So here we are. It's all lit up. It hasn't been painted yet with snow. But as you can see, closing it will cause the switch to turn off. And opening it will theoretically cause it to light up again. Of course, um, it's coming apart from the part because there's got a little bit of the light of the 